Oof, look at all those rainbow glow amazing smelling eggs. And I got them pretty easily because of the charm buff. What's a charm buff? It's that thing up there. 20% chance to find better jeans is pretty good odds. Let's see what we got. Hello, you fine looking individuals. I'm gonna show you the best way to find rare eggs and the best way to maximize your prayer pot. And we're gonna start right now. If this is your first time here, you wanna know more about Monster Hunter Stories 2, Monster Hunter Rise, and other video games, charm farm that like and subscribe button. Let's get into it. The best way to find rare eggs is to raise your chances of finding rare genes. How do we do this? By using a finding charm at the prayer pot. Finding charm is a charm that makes it easier to find eggs containing monsters with rare genes for 30 minutes. Once I use a finding charm, it is now 20% easier to find eggs containing monsters with rare genes. And that's because my prayer pot is at level 20. How did I get it that high? I'll show you. To go up one level from levels 1 to 10, you need to enter in 5 charms at a time. You've now used 45 charms, boosting the prayer pot to level 10. Its effects will now be much more powerful. And powerful means that your rewards from those charms will be increased. From levels 10 to 15, players must enter a collection of 10 charms to go up one level. And from levels 15 to 20, you need to enter a collection of 15 charms at a time to go up one level. I know what you're thinking, that's a lot of charms. Where am I gonna find all these charms? So to farm charms, what we need to do is hunt for a lot of chests. I would advise using Gathering Charm. Gathering Charm is a charm that makes rare gathered items easier to find for 30 minutes. But if you don't have this charm, it's okay. It's not necessary for the strategy, but it's definitely going to help you. So I'm gonna go ahead and use one of these, make an offering. And now it's 20% easier to find rare items. Next, you want to go to the quest board, go to subquests, and accept hard Rider's Challenge. Here, you are tasked to take down a boss Velocidrome, which is tougher than the others. But we're not going to be fighting him at all, and there's a reason. Once we're outside in the afternoon, you can see way in the distance like a silver peak. That is a subquest den, and it's located right here in North Kamuna Cape, right next to that caravan stand. So what I'm going to do is open up the map by hitting the plus button, hitting the X button, and then going to the North Kamuna Cape Catavan Stand. And there's the subquest den. It looks like a rare monster den, but just platinum or silver. Make sure you come here in the afternoon, because if you come here in the evening, subquest den will not be there. So to farm charms, what we need to do is hunt for a lot of chests. This subquest den provides the best opportunity to find those chests. For example, once you've explored the entire den, you can see the whole thing on your map as soon as you enter. And as you can see, there are already three chests that we can hunt to try to find some charms. So these brown chests are the one we're primarily going after. They have the possibility of containing burning ointment, immunizers, potions, antidotes, and life sets. They also can contain three types of charms, finding charms, lucky charms, and gathering charms. And because we need a bunch of charms, it doesn't matter which one we're getting. We just need those charms. So getting a charm out of these boxes is about a three and eight possibility. Let's see what this one offers. Potion. That's okay, there's another one. Burning ointment. And we got one more box. Right here it is. And... Antidote. But it's not a total loss. We did get items. But as you see, there are no more chests in this area. To respawn the chests, all you have to do is go into this map by pressing the plus button, hit the X button, and go back to North Kamuna Cape. So we're back. Let's see what they have for us this time. And it looks like they have two chests for us. You know, this is kind of a big map. I don't want to spend all that time just for two chests. So if you want to reset the map for new spawns, go into the map menu with the plus button, hit the X button, and fast travel to North Kamuna Cape. Right, let's try it again. And now we have four spawns. Let's see what we get. Three out of eight chance we get a charm. Life soot. Ooh, definitely want to talk about this. So in these dens, you'll come across these blue chests. These blue chests can only contain three types of treasures. That's the Vitality Nutriment, the Strength Nutriment, and Defense Nutriment. The Vitality Nutriment permanently increases an ally's maximum HP. The Strength Nutriment permanently increases an ally's elemental attack power. And the Defense Nutriment permanently increases an ally's elemental defense. And on the status menu, it looks like we can only do 10 per character. And due to my charm farming, it looks like I have plenty of nutriments. So we can get either Strength, Defense, or Vitality. Let's see what we get this time. Vitality. We still have two more chests. 
immunizer so the last chest here seems to be a blue chest so it's one of three possibilities a strength vitality or a defense nutriment vitality nutriment no more chests let's go ahead and put the x button and respawn okay let's try this again it looks like we have five chests in the area that's a lot but unfortunately there are two chests that are unreachable at the moment and i'll show you what i mean this chest right here can only be reached once you climb those vines this chest down here can also only be reached once you climb those vines. So if you see a chest here or here, you can't reach them right now, right? It looks like we have five chests. There's one, burn ointment, doing bull drone, excuse me. Another chest, burn ointment, free money. Lucky charm, we got one. There go, and life set. Oh, and that blue chest up there is unreachable for right now. Oh, gold mining point. Free money. All right, let's check this one out. One, two, three, four, five, six. Nice jackpot. Here's one. Finding charm. Hey, lucky charm. Ooh, this is free money. Thank you. And this is three. Five sit. Four. Okay, fifth one. Finding charm. Nice. And it is gathering, gathering charm, nice. Now that you know the efficient way of farming charms, you can level up your pear pot in no time. Quick tip, you'll see this not video icon that shows up on top of the charm sometimes when you're about to use them. That means the duration of using this charm with a not video icon is now 45 minutes per ticket as opposed to 30 minutes per ticket. Another quick tip, from my experience, the buffs from charms and prayers do not stack. Either being the same such as gathering charm and gathering prayer, it won't make it 30% easier to find stuff, it'll just use the 20% of the charm. And in fact, if you're using a charm, the prayers will just be overridden by the charm itself, even if it's a different buff. For example, I'll use a finding charm. Then I'm going to use a lucky prayer, which adds 70 points to your battle results bonus. So you can see the buffs on top. It looks like my finding charm is working. Let's go ahead and go into a battle and I should receive 70 extra points if the prayer is working and there is no lucky prayer bonus. So that tells me if using a charm and a prayer, the charm will always override the prayer's buff. Let's talk about these rare genes that the fighting charm can give you. Here's one of my rare den beauties. As you see, I have a speed bingo and had this rainbow gene, which are easier to find in rare monster dens. If you want to know more about rainbow monster genes and how they work and how to find rare monster dens, I have a video for you and the links in the description. But as you see the auxiliary skills, which is the health up gene and the critical eye gene have a parentheses S. I'm translating that as small. So for instance, I have health gene up small and then critical eye gene small. And notice how there's a black border around those two genes. For this Velocity Drone, I have a Might Gene S and a Might Gene M, again, for medium. The S marginally boosts non-elemental attack power, and the M boosts non-elemental attack power. And notice how the medium gene has a white border around it, and the small gene still has a black border around it. This monster is one of my Pear Pot Level 20 Finding Charm Monsty. The two auxiliary moves are on medium status, so we have critical eye gene medium, which increases crit rate somewhat, and evasion up medium, sometimes evades an enemy attack. And also we get that rainbow gene, which again are more common from eggs in rare monster dens. So let's go ahead and open one of these up. And you can already tell from up top that the three auxiliary genes are already on medium status. Here's that same Monsty. So evasion up gene M, iron wall gene M, and critical eye gene M. There's no rainbow jewel, but if you notice, the extra genes that we get, which is the evasion up, iron wall gene, and the critical eye gene are not small, but medium status. So all the extra genes have been upgraded for this Monsty. There's another type of gene that you come across during egg farming. You notice over here, this Merciless Gene S has two stars next to it. And if I investigate it, it says up two next to it increases skill power somewhat. So I'm anticipating this as small plus plus, but I'm not sure. But if you happen to know more about what these stars mean next to these genes, put it in the comments below. I want the community to know. But like I said, it looks like small plus plus, but 
I don't know what that means. Now that my prayer pots leveled up, using the finding charm, I can find rare eggs with upgraded genes. But if you're egg farming, you're gonna need a lot of egg space. I have a video right here if you want to learn how to maximize your egg space. Just making rooms for these rare eggs for these awesome genes for the right of channeling. So far, my favorite gene is the critical eye gene. What's your favorite gene? Put it in the comments below. Thank you for watching another Pookie Boogie video. Stay healthy, stay strong. Catch you next time.